getting too quick at building these things. It took me a couple of hours yesterday to strip it. About three hours this morning to build it. Just got to paint it, of course. As you can see, we've still got the pipes. I've actually made them longer because I saw a video on YouTube. Bees defend that so well. Hornets and wasps don't that stand a chance. And that has saved me mucking about trying to stop wasps getting in. So the motor's come off of it. Don't forget, all this is getting painted. It's a little bit of rust don't matter. It'll take about three extra frames over a brood box, so about 15 frames. Um, it's, the frames are about 15 mil off the floor, so the bees can come in. And then of course we've got the supers on top. This is a bit of a practice run. This is for treatment free bees. I'm going to put bees in here. I'm not going to treat them whatsoever. I'm not even going to do sort of home rem remedies of rhubarb or misting with mineral oil. Get rid of the varroa. Um, I'm in a new group on Facebook, treatment free beekeeping. And well, let's give it a go. They seem to have really good results. Let the bees do what bees do. No queen excluder again. Queen will be free to lay wherever she wants, but of course after July, once the colony starts reducing into the brood, all of this will be filled up with honey, and I can still pinch some honey out off of them. Um, I'm still going to make a crown ball to fit on top, and actually that little ledge which is where the motor was behind there, because these frames are going to sit over the top of it, you know, leave a little bit of a gap there. I'm actually going to put a dish there so as I can internally feed them. Um, you know, sugar syrup. I'll put some twigs in there so that they don't drown. I'll put a, a two litre milk carton cut down the side or cut in half. Plonk it in there and we can do internal feeding still. Um, and then in the winter time if they need it I can just stick a slab of fondant in there. I've still got to brand up the supers because I haven't done many of them yet. So I'll have to brand up a load of supers and paint it green. And paint it green. Small bit of a mini sheet go on the roof of it just as a added rain protection cover. Plastic bungee over the top of it. Left the pipes white so the bees have got something to home in onto. <laughs> all in all, took me about five hours total, I suppose. Cost me absolutely zilch. Can't wait to get bees in it.